Hello friends, welcome to my channel. We were designing the flat slab that is the interior panels. These are interior panels, 1, 2, 3, 4 are interior panels and because these are continuous in all the sides and all these are exterior panels, right? In this case, we are designing the interior panel without drop and the column head. The condition is there is no drop and there is no column head. We have uh, already done in the part 1 the effective that we have calculated that load calculation we have calculated calculation of stiffness and alpha c has already been calculated check along the pattern loading has been checked now in this case we have to learn that how the total design moment will be calculated and next is the reinforcement along the longer direction reinforcement along the shorter direction check for two way shear and finally the detailing in the along the column strips and the middle strips this is the section right we will do so quickly a recap right so what we have given the interior panel we, we are designing this interior panel these all four are interior panels so we have 4.5 quickly we will do 6 meter is the longer side live load is 4 kilometer per meter square floor finish is 1 Col column width is 300 depth is 400 it has already been given you will fill the data in these pink cells according to your condition FCK is 20, FI is 415 and the height of the column above and below is 4 meter right so we have already done that and this is the case where the LX is greater than 3.5 and live load is also greater than 3 km per meter square then we have to follow the clause number 23.2 for two way slab design right so the effective depth we have to assume that PT percentage generally we use 0.4 modification factor as 1.3 by this graph it is 1.3 and uh, this is the continuous slab 26 is the for the L by D is 26 for the continuous slab and 0.9 is to be multiplied in case of the flat slab so 160 is come out so we have chosen 175 greater than that assume the bar data we have chosen 10 mm and clear cover is 20 mm so finally 200 mm is the overall depth the dead load calculation has been done so factor load is 15 kN per meter has been calculated calculation of stiffness and alpha c has already been calculated this is alpha c along the longer direction 0.8 that is calculated value and alpha c along the shorter direction 0.235 that is calculated next step is very important that is if you need to check for the pattern loading that you have to increase or not correction is required in the moments along the longer direction or shorter direction or not so it is only required if the live load by dead load ratio is greater than 0.5 in our case it is 0.67 so check for battle loading is required right so we have already done the l1 is the working direction and l2 is the transverse direction that is 0.4 4.5 if we are going for the longer direction so l1 will be 6 6 meter l2 is 4.5 meter right this lies l2 by l1 0.75 and from this pattern loading this is between so 0.5 this much alpha c minimum is calculated and in the, this case w l by live load by dead load this is 0.228 so we have to compare it so no alpha c is calculated is greater than alpha c minimum because alpha c calculated is 0.8 in case of longer direction so it is greater so no correction is required is there next is ch check for the shorter direction we have already calculated so say similarly from this chart l2 by l1 comes out to 1.33 this will lies between this one you can change according to your requirement so alpha c minimum value by interpolation comes out 0.844 right this is at 1 this is also 0.844 because uh, for l2 by l1 1.25 and 2 the l w d by w wl by wd is 1 so at 1 this is also same right so 0.21 for, for minimum of these alpha c minimum we will compare it with alpha c calculated against shorter direction so again shorter direction 0 0.253 so there is correction is required so 1% correction is required in shorter direction so the total movement calculated in the shorter direction will be increased by 1% right if you change the value like 5 meter or dead load by 5 right we will see check for, for pattern loading is required now there is 7 percent increase is there are you getting this point so we have 4.5 
and 6 meter and 4 is live load now the correction is 1% required now this is the part 2 and the detailed explanation will be there for the total design movement total design movement has already been calculated and I will explain you in detail along the longer direction the formula as per the IS code is W into ln by 8 and what is capital W capital W is small w we have already calculated 15 kN per meter right total factored load 15 kN per meter and what is L2 I have already told you if we are dealing with a longer direction L1 is the L1 is the working direction and the transfer direction that is 4.5 in this case will be L2 and Ln is the clear spacing between the columns so L2 uh, Ln in this case is 5.6 meter right Ln is the clear spacing between the face to face of the column 5.6 so by this formula this is 264 that is W into L2 into Ln square because W is Ln into Ln is Ln square by 8 right so m longer is 264.26 kN meter and along the shorter direction this is the same ln is 4.2 that is a clear span and the formula is the same w into this is l2 l2 in this case is uh, the transfer transfer direction that is 6 right design moment has been calculated now the basic most important step in flat slab design is column strips and middle strips you need to find the dimension of the column strip and middle strip because for the same you need to provide the reinforcement are you getting this point along the longer direction this is the formula 0.25 l2 l2 is same along the long direction it is 4.5 twice into because uh, along the long direction from both side 0.25 l2 or 0.25 l2 so twice 0.25 l2 is 2250 and twice 0.25 l1 is 3 3000 mm right this formula and from minimum of these you will take the width of the column strips right width of the column strips has been found and the thing should be noted that width of the column strip along the longer direction along the shorter direction will be same it will be minimum of these two and it will be same for all the direction right so 2.2250 is the width of the column strip and width of the middle strip along the longer direction this is the longer direction you need to place the reinforcement in this this direction so width will be this much for longer direction right so 2250 is the width of the middle strip for along the longer direction and along the shorter direction width will be same to two column strip 2250 width of the middle strip if you provide the reinforcement in this direction so width will be counted as this much so for the rectangular portion the width of the middle strip of along the longer direction along the shorter side direction will be changed but for the square section it will be same so next is reinforcement calculation reinforcement along the longer direction it has already been calculated mol we have already calculated mol is 264.60 right and D is 175 and capital D is 200 m right D is 175 and capital D is 200 what we have uh, given by the IS code you need to take for the interior span in an interior span the total design movement M0 shall be distributed in the following proportion negative design movement 0.65 positive design movement 0.35 so the, this is for column strip positive negative and positive moment this moment will be divided in in column strip and middle strip as negative and positive and negative and positive for both right so for negative design moment it should be multiplied by 65 percent will be distributed of this much and for the positive moment this is 30 35 percent 0.35 further for the column strip negative moment at an interior support and interior support the column strip shall be designed to resist 75% of the total negative movement in the panel at that support further after 65% it should be multiplied by 75% as per the IS code so final movement will be calculated by with this formula and for the positive movement 
for the each span column strip shall be designed to resist 60 percent of the total positive moment after 35 percent by this formula further 65 percent will be multiplied by the total moment then this moment will be calculated and you can see that middle strip 0.65 into mol that is 0.65 into moment along the longer direction minus already calculated for the column strip so 129 has already been calculated so 0.65 into mol minus already calculated moment clear same for the positive moment 0.35 into mol mol is this much minus m already calculated this much right next is the pt percentage percentage of steel according to the moment we are dealing with the column strip and negative moment so this is the formula you can see so after calculation 0.59 percent for this much 0.25 0 0.235 percent for this much moment 55.6 kilo newton meter 0.18 percent required for this much moment 43 and 0.154 for this much moment and uh, we all know that the pt minimum is 0.12 percent so from these two maximum will be taken for the ast calculation so ast has been calculated we just need to choose our dia so if we choose 16 mm for this much of movement so 16 at the rate 190 mm center to center spacing has been calculated for the next if we choose 10 mm so this much is calculated for 8 mm if you choose 8 mm you can choose according to your requirement if you choose 8 mm so 8 mm at the rate 180 mm center to center so ast required and ast provided is always greater than ast required you need to check this so we have calculated the reinforcement along the longer direction same for the shorter direction mos we have calculated mos movement in along the shorter direction is 198 it has been taken by this 198 d is 165 along the shorter direction right because if we have already placed along the longer direction now if you want to place a shorter direction reinforcement it will be above the longer direction right so d will be deduction of 175 by the dia dia we have chosen 10 mm so 165 mm is the effective depth in the shorter direction capital a will be the same so you need to see that we have calculated the correction of one percent so one percent will be multiplied in the positive direction in shorter direction span for the reinforcement along the shorter direction the movement will be multiplied by the correction we have already calculated one one percent correction right it will be multiplied in the positive direction at column strip also and the middle strip also right so all the movements has been calculated same formula has been now this you need to see this is 0 0.09 this is 0 0.12 so it has been taken by this formula so greater greater of these two so area required is calculated the same we choose 16 mm dia now the 10 mm dia the spacing is being calculated now the 8 mm dia we choose 8 mm dia and again the 8 mm dia so column strip negative and positive movement middle strip for negative and positive movements the reinforcement is being calculated now check for two way shear two way shear always be checked in the longer direction this is the column width 400 by 300 mm so effective depth two way shear is d by 2 distance along the periphery we all know that so d by 2 distance 0.5 d is 83 mm we need to take a effective depth of 165 mm because along the longer direction you will place the reinforcement along the shorter direction so effective depth will be 165 small w is been calculated 15 kN per meter square vu is this much 1.18 tau v and for the slab tau c dash is kc into tau c ks is 0.5 plus b by 2 if this is greater than 1 you have to take this as 1 so tau c is formula is 0.25 under root fck 1.12 so this is multiplied finally the 1.12 is tau c dash maximum shear is 1.5 times tau c so now what is this the tau v is in this case tau v is greater than tau c dash so shear for reinforcements are required but in case of flat slab or slabs we don't generally provide the shear reinforcement so what we can do either we can increase the 
size of the size of the slab 190 so let's see safe in here okay and if we if we, we don't want to increase the size of the slab we can increase the fck value by 25 mm so it is safe in here you can do anything if you don't want to provide the shear enforcement right so next is finally the detailing so detailing has been done we are designing the interior span the spacing center to center distance is being 6 meter by 4.5 meter clear sp spacing is being there 400 by 300 mm is the size of the column now you need to see that the middle strip this much is the middle strip this much is the middle strip and this these are fours are the column strip so at the center what we have provided reinforcement we will see at the center middle strip at the center the positive will be there so these dotted lines are positive and these dark lines are negative i mean to say that these are hogging reinforcement in the upper direction and these positive are sagging because at the middle portion you will find the sagging movement only so these are positive movement in the, in the bottom direction so if we check we have provided 8 1 180 mm center to center and 8 200 mm center to center at the center right in the longer direction in the shorter direction if we see the column strip column strip we will find the movement will be negative and both the direction there is the hogging movement so the reinforcement will be in the upper portion so if we see we have chosen 16 200 mm along the longer direction 16 250 along the shorter direction so along the longer direction along the shorter direction in upper direction right similarly you can see the reinforcement in the middle strip at the outer section so dark line will be the negative reinforcement in the upper direction this is the bottom reinforcement in the sagging positive movement right so this is the section middle section you can see the section uh, if we cut this section by this portion so what we will see in the middle portion that is this is the along the longer direction 8 180 mm this is 180 mm and 8 200 mm you can see 8 200 mm along the longer direction this green means and this will be in the sagging and the bottom portion and these these are 8 160 mm center to center this is dark and this is in the hogging portion and this will be provided in the upward portion right 8 160 mm and these are the according to the is code these are the uh, distance from where we need to curtail our reinforcement right so this 10 into 240 mm center to center is this much along the longer direction in the bottom portion because the dotted is the along the bottom portion so if we change like this if we change by 5 this is 6.5 you will see the reinforcement has been changed the reinforcement has been changed and the spacing also being changed so detailing will be changed according to your requirement so this is very much important this is very easy and quick to find the and now you can see you have to increase the depth according to our requirement and if you see a shear shear enforcement is required you need to increase the depth of the slab for safe and shear so friends if you like this video if you want this video you can contact me on my whatsapp number and subscribe this channel for more design videos and thanks for watching